It's Captain Lori. Welcome back to Mystery Island. I hope you were here yesterday when we learned that God is the ruler over all the world. Remember, Mystery Island is very big, so we're going to meet somewhere different every day. Let's open up the treasure map and find out where we will be today. Take a look at the map. Over on the right side, you'll see a little bay shaped like a heart. You see it? Today, we will be there in Jellyfish Lagoon. Shiver me timbers! I seem to have Christmas bells hanging on me hat. Why do I have Christmas bells hanging on me hat? Is it Christmas? No. I wonder why I have Christmas bells on my hat. <gasps> Maybe it has something to do with what's in our treasure chest. Let's take a look. <gasps> Maybe it is Christmas. It's a Christmas present. All for me. <laughs> wow. You know, this kind of rings a bell, actually. Our lesson today is called, God is Emmanuel. Can you say that word? Emmanuel. That's a Christmas word. We hear it all the time in Christmas songs. And it's kind of a nickname for Jesus that means God with us. Jesus is God come down to be with us. That's why we talk about that at Christmas. Jesus became a baby and came down to be with us. Let's see what's in this Christmas present. Oh, A heart means love. It tells us that God's gift to us is love and Jesus shows us God's love at Christmas. Welcome back for our Bible story. You know how much pirates love jewels, don't you? We love jewels of all different colors, red and green and blue. And in our story today, there are going to be pictures of different colored jewels that help us tell the story about how much God loves us. What color is this jewel? That's right, it's green. Green reminds us of a beautiful garden with trees and grass and plants. And when God made the world, he made a beautiful garden. You see the two people there? He put a man and a woman in the garden. Do you know their names? That's right, Adam and Eve. And God would walk with them in the garden every day and he would talk with them and everything was peaceful and happy. Oh no, what color is this? That's right, it's black. This dark color reminds us that there was someone dark and bad hiding in the garden. The devil, he's the bad guy that God, that doesn't like God and he does bad things. And one day he came into the garden to Eve and he tricked her. He told her not to eat some fruit from a tree that God had said that they shouldn't. Do you see the fruit? She ate some and she gave some to Adam. They disobeyed God. They shouldn't have done that. And when we disobey God, that's called sin. It's when we do something that God has told us not to do. And sin went into Adam and Eve's hearts and their hearts became dark, and then it went into their children's hearts and into every single person who's been born. And that means me, and it means you. Have you ever sinned? Have you ever told a lie? Do you know that that's a sin? Have you ever stolen something from the store? Like a piece of candy? That's a sin. Have you ever disobeyed mom and dad? That is a sin too. 
and so our hearts are all dark with sin. Oh, look, do you know what color this is? Yes, it's blue. Blue makes us think of a baby boy being born. That's what happened at Christmas. Jesus was born. When God saw that the hearts of all the people in the world were dark with sin, he was so sad. He wanted the people to come to heaven to live with him, but he couldn't let them into heaven because there's nothing bad in heaven. So what could God do? He thought and he said, I love the people in the world so much, I am going to send my son Jesus down to the earth and he will take the punishment for all the sins of the people. He will be punished for the bad things that they do. They don't have to be punished. Then I can let them into heaven. What color is this? Oh, that's right. It's red. Red reminds us of something that is very sad, but also very happy. After Jesus was born, he grew up and he traveled around and he told people about God and he told them how to live and how to be kind to others, how to help people and how to know God. And he never did anything wrong. And then one day, Jesus died on the cross. Did you see the cross on the picture of the jewel? Jesus died on the cross to take the punishment for the sins of all the people. And that's something we learn about at Easter time. So the red reminds us of Jesus' blood. The Bible says that his blood washes away all of our bad sins in our dark heart and it makes it clean. We can be clean and God can take us into heaven to be in his family. So the red reminds us of something really sad, Jesus' blood, but it also reminds us of something happy, that we are washed and clean and God can love us. And what color is this jewel? Yes, yellow. The color yellow looks like gold. Have you seen a pretty gold necklace or a pretty gold ring? It's shiny and pretty and gold costs a lot of money. But do you know that in heaven where God lives, the streets are made of gold. When we go to heaven, we will walk on gold. That means that everything else in heaven will be even better than the streets of gold that we walk on. There will be beautiful trees and flowers and grass and lakes. And you can play all day. There will be no crying in heaven and no pain. And guess what? No nighttime. But the best thing about heaven is that we will see Jesus. We can talk to him and sing with him and we can play with him forever. I want to have my sins washed away so that I can go to heaven someday and be with God and be with Jesus. Do you know it's as easy as A, B, C to ask Jesus to come and take away your sins and make yourself clean before Jesus? First is the letter A, admit. Admit means that you say, you know what? I have sinned. You say, I have maybe told a lie. I have stolen something. I have disobeyed mom and dad. And you know what, God, I am sorry. I am sorry for doing those things. And I want to stop doing them and turn around and not do them anymore. The letter B stands for believe. Believe. That means in your heart, you believe and you say, God, I know that Jesus is your son and that when he died on the cross, he took the punishment for my sins. And when I believe on him, you will wash away all the sins in my heart and I will be clean. I believe in Jesus. And the letter C 
stands for choose. You pray to God and you say, God, I choose to follow you my whole life. I will stop doing the bad things that I do and I will start doing the good things that you want me to do. I choose to love you and follow you my whole life. Yoho Island friends, today we learn that God loves us so much that he wants us to be with him in heaven and he sent Jesus down, Emmanuel, God with us. And if we believe in Jesus, he will wash away all the sins in our dark heart, make us clean, and we can love God and go to be with him in heaven someday. That is an amazing Christmas present, isn't it? And if you've prayed today to ask Jesus to wash away your sins and you choose to follow God, we would love to hear about it here at Mystery Island. Tell your mom or dad to fill out the response form at the bottom of this page and just let us know. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the response form. If you need a Bible, we will get you a Bible and make sure you have one. Well, it's actually time to say goodbye, but I hope you'll come back tomorrow and hear some more about our great God. Stop.